we come to Copenhagen in December and the world will meet for possibly the last time to get this right. And the message we have to send is a message of an angry world. Now, I don't know how many people live in Canberra, but I'm suspecting there's more than there are here. We haven't got or everybody with us. The great bulk of people have got no idea what the climate means. I, look, I don't want to run a polar bear. Make yourself useful. Could you get that sheet of paper off the stage for me if you've got hands? This is the Canberra Times today. Did you see the big front page story that there'd be a 350.org uh, meeting here on the uh, lawns outside Parliament House? Did you see the support the Canberra Times gives to saving the world? You saw that, didn't you? Big thing, everybody go to the... It's not there. But on page, what is it, 22 of the Canberra Times, opposite a photograph of bugger those polar bears, it's always about the polar bears. It's never about us. Who cares if they go extinct? There'll always be the Bundy rum bear to keep us and remind us that they used to exist. But we will become extinct as well. And you can't avoid it. It doesn't matter whether you're the Prime Minister, the head of the coal industry, it doesn't matter whether you're rich or poor, climate change will get you. And this is what it said today. Scientists map out disastrous years ahead. A nightmare... In the not very distant future, a new map shows the uh, enormous temperature rises which British scientists believe the planet may be experiences in as little as 50 years from now if global warming remains unchecked. And then it paints a picture of the world food system collapsing, the world water collapsing, of millions and millions and millions of climate refugees, all of them wanting to come to Australia. Now, the only answer... Where are the federal police? <laughs> the only way out is civil disobedience on a, on a grand scale. Now, I've been to lots of protests where people have protested about the environment and protested about water and all sorts of things, you know, and there's always been the representatives of the um, property protecting class um, there to keep an eye on us. And I've always thought, you know, if they only knew that they're part of the disaster too, perhaps they would join us. Now... I'm also old enough to remember the 60s when it was very fashionable to put a flower down the gun of a policeman or a, or a, um, a soldier and, and say, well, this is really about peace. And none of that ever worked. So I don't think we could depend on them, but we can depend on ourselves. And whilst it's a long way for you to go to the Hunter Valley to stand in front of a coal train, or it's a long way for you to go down to Victoria and stop the laying of the foundations of a new brown coal fire power station, this is the future we have because these people, they're happy. They're rich, they're powerful, and they think they're immune because they've got tickets to Branson Space Station. <laughs> That's the ark that these people are depending on. And while they fly off and spend the next 3,000 years up there while the planet resets itself back to a climate that can accommodate us, we, unfortunately, will become part of the fossil record. So as part of our street theatre, I'd like every child that we have here, everybody under, say, 12, I'd like you all to come up and join me here. What I want you children... Well, when you all come up here, how are you all? What's your name? Nissa. How old are you? Eleven. Eleven. How old are you? I'm eight. Eight. Add these up. Twelve. 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 So that's twenty-four. Eight is uh, thirty-two, and eleven is forty-five. Hello. How old are you? I'm three. Oh, you're three. But you're you're not just three. You're the happiest, most excited three, aren't you? What's your name? Luke. Well, but very good. That's okay. Oh, by gee, is, are, are you hyperactive? Have you had some red lemonade today? What is going on there? So look, what I want you children to do, I want you to come over and meet, um, this is the Prime Minister, uh, Kevin Rudd. So please say hello, uh, sir. Say sir, because even though you hate him, uh, you feel he's got to respect the office. And that evil, nasty, horrible looking man with the world in his hands uh, is head of the Coal Industry Association of Australia. Now what I want you to do, I want you to go over there and hold them by the hand and I want you to turn them round and I want you to take them back, right back to the beginning of the black plastic. So everybody in there, because this is what you have to do. 
Us old people can't do it. Only you can do it. So please grab them by the hand, make them feel guilty, tell you you hate them. <laughs> but that your parents won't vote for them ever again. And you take them back. Go on, he's going to resist. Come on, lots of you. Come on, get him back there. Go on. And the other gun. Get the big fella too. Get the one up there, the tall one. You take him back there as well. That's the way to go. And that's the only way to do it. Oh, Kevin Rudd's arrived. Look at him. <laughs> get that Kevin Rudd. Get him too. And that's and sadly what we have to do because politics, like business as usual, don't work no more.